This is The Ridge Report, Ag University student-produced newscast. Get a glimpse of what's happening on The Ridge. Today's stories, Disney Night, Aka Pop, the Hula Sports Partnership, the opening of James Bobo Field, Junior Trip to Boston, and Take Back the Night. Welcome, I'm Franco Ninesman. And I'm Justin Pope. On Friday, April 6th, the CPB hosted its annual Disney Night. Students participated in scavenger hunts, a ring toss, a Spider-Man web-slinging gallery, and of course, trivia. Winners took home some awesome Disney memorabilia, and it was a magical night for participants and organizers alike. Everyone is already looking forward to next year's Disney Night. Also on Friday, Niagara University's own a cappella group, The Sore Throats, performed at the Rochester Institute of Technology's Acapop concert. The event showcased a cappella groups from NU, RIT, and Geneseo. The Sore Throats performed a set of four songs featuring Chandelier, Rise Up, Rather Be, and Save the World. This is the first time the Sore Throats have performed outside of the Niagara community with the hopes that this isn't the last. Congrats to the Sore Throats on a great performance. Niagara University has officially announced a new partnership with Pagula Sports Entertainment. We caught up with Professor Tutka, one of NU's sports management professors, to tell us more about his role in helping create this partnership. Professor Tutka also shared exciting news about the new Niagara Power baseball team and how Niagara University students can get involved. Uh, for us here in the sport management program, it's a, it's a significant relationship. We have um, already have several employees who work for the different areas of Pagula, with, um, whether it's with the Build or the um, Sabres uh, or with the American, sorry, and all the other areas. And we also have um, these relationships or these um, potential relationships in the future with Pagula will allow us to be able to make connections, uh, bring people on campus from across uh, the region. Um, from th their various organizations and also to um, get our students opportunities with internships and jobs and other pieces and, and give us some potential advantages that other universities around the region do not have. Uh, in the last year we've worked to um, buy a franchise and to take operation over operations of that franchise um, which I'm the director of, I'm the person who oversees the day-to-day -day operations of that franchise um, from recruiting players all the way through to getting students involved in uh, all the other pieces that go with it. A really great learning laboratory for uh, students who possibly have an interest in wanting to be involved in it. There's no requirement that you have to be a sport management major. Um, you know, there's not even necessarily a preference one way or the other. We want the best students, the best possible people to fit. Doesn't matter whether they're, where they come from. On Wednesday, April 4th, the Niagara University community came together in the Gallagher Center for the third annual Take Back the Night. The event drew hundreds of students, faculty, and community members alike to bring awareness of sexual, relationship, and domestic violence in all forms. The event included resource tables, poster making, a brief program, and concluded with a candlelight vigil. Among some of the awards given out that night, the Nicholas Albano Student Advocacy Award was given to none other than current student body president, Andrew Hayes. It was a powerful and emotional experience for all involved. This past weekend, members of the junior class went on a Nuska-sponsored Boston trip. Students explored the city and sites all day Saturday on their own. Some went to Fenway Park to watch the Red Sox thrash the Tampa Bay Rays 10-3. Others dined on delicious food in Italy and saw historic sites like Faneuil Hall. Later that evening, the students met up for a great dinner at the hotel. The trip was enjoyed by all who went and several are already planning to go back to Boston. The grand opening of Bobo Field was held on Saturday. To begin the celebration, Father James J. Maher and other Niagara University priests blessed the field. Afterwards, a ribbon cutting ceremony took place. Nuska also held a tailgate to celebrate the opening of the field. As for the Purple Eagles, they split a double header with Iona. The second game concluded with a Purple Eagles walk-off single from Michael Gabriel. The Purple Eagles are now 9-14, but their 4-2 record in the MAC puts them third in the conference standings. As always, go Purple Eagles. That's all for now. Tune in next time for more on what's happening on the Ridge. For more on campus news and upcoming events, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and check out our website at ridgereport.niagara.edu. I'm Frank Linesman. And I'm Justin Pope. Thank you for watching The, the Ridge, Ridge Report. Report.